there you go then. Nice simple setup. Hopefully this comes out alright in the camera. But I've got inside the bivvy bag here, I've got a nice lovely pillow and the Cathlon, X ped down mat and my snug pack one season sleeping bag. It's actually got a muzzy net there as well if I wanted to use it. So yeah, nice and comfortable and warm as well I should think. I'll organise the rest of my kit now and just show you what I brought along for the trip. Um, you've seen some of it already in use, but I'll go through it anyway. Right, welcome back everyone. It's uh, quarter to four now. Um, time's getting on a little bit. Still plenty of daylight though, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But there's all my set up there, which I showed you earlier. Um, and I thought I'd take you through the um, the kit that I brought with me on this trip. Um, was initially planned to be a um, a wild camp down in the marshes, but that got scuppered by um, a group of um, slightly scary cows. I said I know, but there you go. Uh, and here I am in the woods with the same setup and. So I've got my 7 by 5 foot tarp, the British Army bivvy bag with the X-ped down that and the um, the pillow and snug pack sleeping bag. Got me um, UCO candle lantern there with a um, citronella candle in there later so I can keep any bugs at bay hopefully. And I put that on the ground sheet because I was expecting it to be absolutely sodden today after the rain we had yesterday. But I wouldn't normally take that. And if I take you over here, I've got the rest of my kit laid out for you. I know a lot of people, myself included, like it when people do a bit of a show and tell. And um, here we are. I'll point you down at it now and get behind the camera. So, where do I start? First of, first of all, I suppose I'll start with the rucksack. Everything was carried in me, um, carry more Sabre 45 with the side pouches which is combined, it's about a 75 litre rucksack. Not what I'd normally take on a camp like this, but I wanted to take a few um, extra bits. I took a lot of water um, and some, some of my heavier cooking gear because I wanted to do some, some good cooking whilst I was out. If you excuse the plane that's flying over. Happens in a lot of YouTube videos, doesn't it? But, down on this side then, We've got um, my cooking utensils that I made myself. I've got a spatula, spoon, and a little teaspoon with a, uh, a bandana. If you haven't got a bandana in your kit, I really recommend it. They've got so many uses, it's not true. Um, and I find them really handy. This is my little camp essentials pouch. I'll go through the inside of that in a minute. Um, brew kit with a, a lovely pouch that I bought off of um, Mr. David Fryers. Check him out on Instagram if you're interested in those. Um, this is my little nose bag here. It was actually a toiletries bag that I got for Christmas from um, Fat Face. But in there I've got my food for tonight and tomorrow morning. Beans, sausages, porridge and some flapjack. So I'll be tucking into that later. got a litre and a half of water there which I've been drinking into. And then um, two addition, um, additional litres of water um, and I've got a cow trough not far from here that I can go to and and tap into should I I need to that probably sounds horrendous to those that aren't informed but the cow trough is, is attached to the mains water so I can go straight to the, the tap a couple of beers there from um, brew dog uh, melancholy selfie chocolate orange stout is that 10% Christ that would be interesting and death of spring double IPA 7.3% again that's a brew dog beer um, looking forward to having them later 
um, my, my um, methylated spirits, a little um, Stanley hip flask there which has got some uh, single malt scotch in it. I've got my down jacket in case it gets cold later. First aid kit of course always comes. Sit mat and then my ground mat which also was provided by um, what I bought off um, David Fryers. Really handy bit of kit that's, that's come out on quite a few trips with me now and I use it every single time. Got my waterproof jacket there because um, I was worried that it might be a little bit more rain today but I don't think that's going to be needed. Then in here I've got a little pillowcase that my wife made for me and um, I've got all my extra clothes in there. I've got a woolly hat, um, merino wool, um, long johns, gloves, um, spare pair of socks, that kind of thing. Then over here to my cook kit I've got my Trangia Triangle. Um, as I said earlier I think t today I wasn't planning on having any fires to cook over so that was and, and probably still is going to be my main source of cooking. And then my um, Stanley, uh, Stanley um, Adventure cook pot. Really nice that is. Little pot that is. Uh, cookser or Kapilka cookser with me uh, tea stro infuser there and, and my cast iron frying pan. And then over there I've just got um, some extra camera kit that I brought with me. I've got a little tripod and a um, Sony bridge camera that I've borrowed off my wife. And that's it. I'll bring you back in a sec when I show you what's in that little pouch. That Camp Essentials pouch I mentioned. This is what I've got inside it. Just a few little bits and bobs that I find quite handy to keep in a, in a, in a tidy pouch. So I've got my head torch there um, with a spare set of batteries. Pencil with some duct tape wrapped around it. Some string, some of which is jute twine which I can use for fire lighting. A lighter in a pouch that my old mucker Des made for me. Thanks Des. A um, packet of tissues for um, you know, toilet duties. Um, this tin here has some um, sort of fire lighting bits and bobs in there, matches, fat wood, cotton wool and Vaseline. Cotton wool and Vaseline is like my um, insurance policy for lighting fires. Always comes in handy. Ferro rod and striker, um, torch, um, hand gel, battery pack, um, just for when I want to charge me um, a camera or my phone. Um, and that all goes in this lovely um, Viper tactical pouch which um, comes on every journey with me I think really generally unchanged if it is a, a more bushcrafty journey then I'll probably have a bit more um, sort of tinder in there I'll probably put a bit of birch bark in there or something um, and probably my, um, my knife sharpening kit as well oh and to mention that point this again it's just the one and only tool that I bought with me on this trip. It's just a simple um, Victoria Knox hiker. I liked it because it's got a nice nice knife and um, it's also got a saw on it as well, which might, might come in handy a little later on. And there you have it. Um, quite a heavy weight load out. I don't have a clue how much it weighs. Um, I don't really care how much it weighs, to be honest, either, really. If I, I can either carry it or I can't. Um, I don't really... Um, worry about weighing things and all that um, but there's four litres of water no, three and a half litres of water there so that's going to be quite heavy to start with anyway um, but I've carried that seven miles so far so it's, it's been alright it's not been too bad um, and that's it I'll bring you back later on